Hello guys, how you doing? And welcome to another episode of Dub Chat with TV. Today we're doing the South Team Park with loads of young people in other parts of the agencies and we're just bringing a bit of colour back to the South Team Skate Park. For years it's been lying derelict, all kind of grey, not very nice, and today we've came together with Neighbourly Lab, G15 New Project and our partners like I said, and we're doing a fantastic bit of work today. I am Ian from Neighbourly Lab, um, here down at South East Skate Park for the painting event. We were lucky to put this event on, Neighbourly Lab had a bit of money and we wanted to help Drum Chapel celebrate D70. So we wanted to bring people together, young people with the community groups and adults and young people say over and over again that there's not enough art in the community. So we got permission off the council to come down and paint all the ramps at the skate park. So we've been down here, we've got 50 people, we've got pizza, we've got paint, we've got tunes and it's been a, a great way of bringing people together. I'm Hannah McGee and I, I go to John Chapel High School and I got out of school to come spray painting today and it was absolutely amazing. I done that angel over there. Today we're here um, with Men Matters. Um, we're just spraying a mural. Um, the whole point in this mural is that if you know people are passing by and they're struggling, um, that there's a reminder that Men Matters is in John Chapel and that we're here to support. Um, Men Matters has been around for three years now um, and obviously it's a peer-to-peer -peer -peer support network um, so it's just obviously a reminder that you know you don't need to suffer in silence um, and that there is people there to support you um, when in need. Well, it's good to have you here today, mate. Can you tell us why you've came and what you think of the day? So it's been a fantastic day. It's been great seeing everyone out here um, getting stuck in. Beautiful weather, as you can see. Um, the artwork's looking pretty cool. Um, all the young people have been working quite hard. And I've been supplying the pizza, so keeping everyone fed. Brilliant, OK. And what has been your standout moment of the day? Standout moment? Well, personal level, Pizza 16 was pretty good. Not going to lie, that was a nice one. Um, but what's been really nice, I got a couple of the young folk to help making the pizzas at the end because it always starts off everyone's hungry, want to eat, want to eat, want to eat. <clears throat> Spend a bit of time and then eventually what happens is they say, do you want to make one? And they're like, oh, okay. And then you start talking about food, start talking about what they like, what they don't like and start trying ingredients they might not like. So it's, it's always nice to sort of stretch, stretch the pizzas and stretch the young people into, into making them. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks very much for coming. You've made a massive impact on the day and uh, it's good to have guys like yourself come along and uh, kind of support the young people in the new opportunities. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Tan, if you're right in your doorstep here, can you tell us a wee bit about why that's important to you, this stuff happening? Oh, it's really important to me. I walk through this park every day uh, with my kids. I've got a toddler as well. He's going to love seeing all these bright colours. Uh, we also get regular skateboarders out, so they're going to get a surprise when they turn up later on or tomorrow. Um, yeah, just going to really, really nice, bright splash of colour. We haven't got anything down this end of Drum Chapel, so um, we're going to really enjoy it. Hey Bjorn, cheers for joining us today mate. How do you think this event spent today? It's been pretty well man, there's been a lot of people that showed up. Got a lot of work done as you can see and everybody's getting involved but even though it brings the community together or not, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Help, help bring a bit of colour back to the skate park for back in the day when I was involved in it. So, so you, were involved, you were involved in the very first skate park project? Aye, aye, I used to be in the skate group with oh, yeah. James Ham that when he ran it. So, yep. so how important is this for you to see it's reviving again then? Uh, it's very important, do you know what I mean? It's so then people see it and they're like, I can get back in there again, stuff like that. Because when, when you were looking at it, it just looked as though it was 
degraded, you know what I mean? But having putting a bit of colour back in it, it gives it a bit of life looking again. So Definitely. I think it's very important that it's, it's back like this again. Oh, yeah. Mark, over here at your uh, beautiful creation, mate, can you tell us a wee bit about it? Uh, so I, this has literally been drawn by all the kids. I've been coming to Drum Chapel, South Dean Skate Park, for about five years now with Peak. I've seen all these kids, I won't name names or anything, but all these kids have been going through, they're in high school now, they came as wee P6s, P7s, whatever. And this is literally, they've signed their names, this is literally their own wee piece of memorabilia that they can keep here and they can come and they visit. They come down every Wednesday from 4 to half 5 and they're here and they can visit and they can see it and they love it. Right. And, it's, and it's, it's a brilliant thing, isn't it? And so, see, what has been your favourite part of the day? I think actually doing it myself, getting stuck in. I, I'm, I'm obviously all, like that's literally what we do at Peak, we, we, we get part of it and we're all getting involved and with the kids and see when kids see adults doing it as well, they love they love that and they thrive off that. So I was getting involved and, and my art skills are only the best, but I've, at least I tried and I gave it a shot and, and the kids love seeing that, they love seeing adults going out of their comfort zone and trying stuff. So I, I love doing that, aye. That's brilliant mate, and I can say like, Peak, Peak have been an absolute asset to this community since you've been here and I just want to say keep up the good work man. Thank you. Hey Lewis, we're having a cracking day down at the skate park here, pal. What do you think about this? Class. Hi guys, how are you doing? Can you just tell us a wee bit about how much you've enjoyed the day? Uh, it was good. We made some TikToks for you and Barco. Oh. And how about yourself? <laughs> good, we got out of school. Got out of school. Uh, and can you tell us what kind of stuff he's done today? We wrote all of the stuff. We drew all our hands and all that. Okay. And what did you do? Spray paint night pizza. And what would you see anybody who wants to take part in graffiti art? Do it. Do it. Thank you very much. How have you enjoyed today's event? It's been brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Oh, I didn't even think I would love it, but aye, it's brilliant. What has been your favourite thing about it? Just being able to do anything I want, really. And what's it called? Help me out with the big projects, like one behind me. Okay. What's, what here is absolutely beautiful. What's your favourite thing here? Um, oh, I have to say the double. I like the double, the double and the DHS bomb. DHS. Well guys, this concludes our day at South Dean Park. We've had so much fun. There's been pizza, there's spray paint, there's been laughter and music. It's been a great day. And when you're walking by South Dean Park, we hope you appreciate all the hard work for young people and the partners of Drum Chat who are putting this. Drum Chat TV signing off. Have a great day.